time 20 seconds since we started talking about this. They can leave him to wither because he's almost certainly unable to be picked back up. Yeah. But now you have to circle the wagons towards the bomb site and get in with such little time. Yeah, they definitely know that he's injured. You know, they chose to leave him there. 35 seconds left or so. Joystick making his way down the main stairs, cutting off the rotation while Empire sets up their attack. But there's no harbors besides the Maverick. It's going to be limited entry. Joystick has to do it all himself, just walking into side. And there he is. He's found it, and he's <laughs> assessing, hey, I've got a window in, but there were multiple calls and an assessment as well that we don't want him getting too close to the bomb site. Geo is down, still bleeding out, so it's a 3v2. As always creeps up through Dirt Tunnel, Shepard finding a kill on Nabolo means it's even numbers. Always presence announced, looks the wrong way, punished by Chala playing on boxes, and it's 50 HP as Shepard in the midst of the smoke. Banshee going away, but Achieved, who's been so good today already, gives TSM the very first round on Clubhouse. That wallbang right there from Cypher, that was due to having those drones alive, and the value that you bring is so clear, and Shepard, you once more. Oh my nice shot. God. What a absolute howitzer. Down goes Geo. Merc now with Nitro Cell in hand. He can derail this push with a well timed explosive, but he has to rely on Empire pushing together. They have a numbers advantage in a 3v2, but both Chala and Merc have been good in the clutch before, as have Empire. And you've got some of the best players on Empire still upright. They're two main forces of Joystick and Dan not available, but that's okay. Sometimes Dan, he's known to have bad matches here on Clubhouse. What are you going to do? 15 seconds to go, and now you know that the stack up is coming through this doorway. Chala's down for the count. A grenade gets tossed in. Merc deftly avoids it, but he's in so much trouble. Two targets for him to collect, but he can't get either. And Empire answers back with a round of their own to tie the game. Position so strong. And the one thing that the UMP has going for it is that thing's a laser beam. That sounded like a one tap to down always, by the way. What happened to him? There goes Shepard. Empire falling by the wayside. Always actually fell off the roof, by the way. Oh, so that single bullet we heard, not intended for always, maybe intended for somebody else. An answer back as Merc is down for the count. Joystick sacrifices some HP to equalize, but there he goes to a nitro cell by achieved from below. Empire with 30 seconds left are unable to get into the bomb site, and now Scyther is the next one in line, as always, is completely unretrievable. There's no way Scyther's gonna be able to, oh, Maybe, but look at the clock. By the time he gets to always and gets him back up, there's only gonna be 20 seconds left. How the hell are you gonna be able to pull this one off? I appreciate what Empire is doing, but I don't think this is gonna be doable. They're gonna be there playing to die and will require one of the most absurd clutches we have ever seen. Where are they gonna go? Inside a kitchen. Achieved here's both of them. Lining up, there's one, turns his back to buy time and the clock ultimately gives the round to Empire despite them killing achieved. So TSM says we're gonna use that as well. And out goes the toxic the flank? canister. And there's the flank, but Shepard handles it. Doesn't lose a single bit of HP. And the geo flank that was looming large, now it's gone. TSM though, they're still inside of the bomb site. They've got it working for them. Scyther down for the count. A 4v2 featuring TSM still deeply protected. Both players on Empire. 15 seconds to go, and they say, you know what, bottom stairs, that's not gonna work. Where are we gonna go? Let's drop the hatches, but kitchen hatch is closed, so Shepard has to drop in, dies with Diffuser in Moto, and always, how about never? That is a third round for TSM through the first four on Empire's map. Well, they gotta do the execute. And they know that they've got at least one player inside a garage, too. Nade goes out by always. Merc evades it. They drop, but Merc has some problems with Shepard, as does Geo. Chala's inside of the bathroom. He's trapped. He's a goner. There's no way for him to get out. The wall's still closing in, and Nade goes in as well. Can he dance around that one? He can, but it's Dan the man to get the final kill. And how about a flawless round for Empire? Anna. And now you don't have that, and you don't have the Nades as well. You only have three drones left, so even normal drones are really starting to slim down. But that grenade, oh my days, catches Merc's heels. And that's a really good opening, but can they get more? Oh, excuse me, Bolo. That's a pretty nice shot. Were he streaming, that would definitely go in a montage. That one wouldn't, though, by the way. Shepard outduels him. The support players of Empire show go in his favor, and now we see the 3v3. The thing is, time is on the side of TSM with 20 seconds, and Yoka drones alive. T Empire, they have to make a move really quickly. And they haven't even cleared Stip yet. They don't even have any drones for it. 50-50 gunfight, Dan. Can you do this? Can you get your team back in the advantage? 
There's a flash that goes out, and Dan doesn't seem to find it. There's Chaladon as well. Achieved, gunning down onto Always. Shepard with the diffuser down. They need to call into action, and suddenly, Achieved comes to the rescue and stops them both at the last second. It tried to body block the bullet. I understand what you're trying to do, but damn, it didn't work, and TSM take the first half, 4-2. That could single-handedly win Team Empire the round, but Cypher has moved into dirt. He's not in a position to deny it. That means the hatch will get open up, and TSM, they have to act upon Kitchen. That's all they really have. This is a well-timed smoke that'll do some damage to Chala. One still remains with 15 seconds to go. TSM barreling into the bomb site. A drop. There goes Geo. Achieved, taking a lot of damage. All of them are going to drop. Are they going to take any damage? Yes, there goes Achieved. Chala now next one in a 1v3 with Diffuser. He has to find them. He sees them, unable to convert. Joystick the kill. Empire get their very first defense. The gap closes between the two teams to a single round. Far from it. One minute to go. Vertical being used from TSM. They went down to the Baba Chala. He's just walked into the breach, and Empire have no idea that's happening. They don't know he's in here. If there's no intel, waiting for the cross from construction, they've boxed them out. Both Chala and Merc are in there. The alarm bells will sound for Empire, and a diffuser plant is very within reach. Still covering is Chala, lighting up Shepard, but he gets out dueled. Geo, in the meantime, diffuser down, and Empire will now scramble the very first successful execute, and TSM's guns are hitting their target. Targets. Always in sight, they're off sight, boxed out. Always swinging for the fences. He gets one, but he's traded out right away. And TSM take their fifth round. Position down below inside of Garage. And this can be the difference maker in the round. If TSM don't have intel, there you go. Joystick can do some damage. He does it on a bolo, trade it out. And they're swinging back and forth. Peak or be peaked, swing or be swung. Leaving Chala upstairs on the roof to last the remaining 35 seconds. We don't know how long it's gonna be, but Empire need to watch a single doorway, a single breach, and a single window. Guess what, there's three of them, they can do that. This round is over for TSM, barring a miracle from Charles. Unless, unless, oh, they're running away. There's no uh, fight. They don't wanna take the engagement, why bother? You have the bomb site working for you, especially that they know he's in there. Chala suspects that there's somebody holding a default spot, and he gets Pokeballed. You gotta catch them all. Start with Chala, why not? 150 more to go. Correct. They achieved could be in for a bad time. Oh, I was actually wrong. That was the other hatch that went off. The one inside a kitchen still there, and there's the nitro cell tossed out so well. Geo blows up sky high, scattered into thousands of pieces inside of the kitchen, just as it seems like the hopes of TSM in this round. Could it be the dawn of another flawless round for Empire? They had one earlier in round five. They're looking for another choking out. Merc and achieved. In goes Merc. Both players on TSM softened up. Merc down for the count, leaving it all to, to achieved. And he's just gonna sit and wait miles away. It's technically a flawless round, but they only killed four of them. Empire, tie it up. Five rounds apiece. 1.5, Sight was looking for a kill hold down in dirt. He misses an opportunity to take out Merc. Now TSM are in a bit of a struggle. They don't know where to go, but Scyther, felled by Achieved. Again, this conversion rate. We will talk about it before. You get the first pick, you get the round. That's the way it's gone. It's Empire now to try and make sure that doesn't happen. But Bolo has that blind spot to exploit as we talked about. 30 seconds to go. Geo was able to get the diffuser down on Jim before. He looks set to do it again. All of a sudden, we see Merc walking backwards, but Bolo picks up kill number two as the diffuser gets planted. Chaos in the midst of the bomb site, leaving Joystick in a 1v4. He's got pings. They know whereabouts they might be, but can he find all of them? Oh. Almost falls through the hatch, but he does that deliberately. Now vaults out, but Achieved shuts him down, and it's TSM on match points. Geo's down below. You gotta bait him out. Yep. They're waiting for the nades. Achieved is now here, so flashbangs on Geo, nades on Achieved. They're gonna have to make it work together. All oh! The what a shot from Always! A second as well! They're not quick enough! He gets blown up, but it's so worth it for Always up top on those Raptors. He comes out on top for sure. Getting two picks in that position is so vital. This nade is so vital as well, because if it can find something, it cannot. That's going to make it so much harder to see him to finish up this round. And look at Empire. They vacated the bomb site. They might decide now with 20 seconds to go, we got to get back in there. But you've got the luxury of time.
These two remaining members of TSM have 10 seconds to pull this off. Geo with the plant down, it means Achieved will have to watch the cross taking some damage. He's been phenomenal today. There's Geo to frag out, but they lose it. Geo with two big kills. There's only one left, and he's going to be a mobile. They swing him, and Empire plays the clock masterfully. We're going to potentially unlimited overtime. Again in strip club, but he's lasted so much longer. His flank was unsuccessful last time. Are we going to see something different? No. Scyther says that's quite enough. No more games for you. He's done damage, though. He did. Half health onto Cypher, a little bit off always. That's okay, but with 20 seconds left, Nibon just damage, and he kills. And on top of that, you've got two toxic canisters to soften up the remainder of these players. Now it's Shepard to take quite a bit of damage. Merc down below. It's the upper hand in favor of Empire, but Merc swings. Shepard now as well. It's Merc coming through on the flank. Oh. Nobody's watching. Nobody's watching for Merc. What a monstrous clutch from Merc. TSM on match point. Rambling to keep this church wall closed. This is really good, by the way. Achieved in the meantime has made vertical play inside of Kitchen, denying that back B position, allowing Chala and Merc to work off this breach. But this is not too good because always has the angle on lockdown. Last Toxic Babe has come out with 30 seconds left. TSM, they can actually stall and wait. And Chala takes some damage, but down goes always. These are tight rat angles being held by Empire. Very advantageous spots to be in. They're gonna come to blows very quickly. Not a lot of time for Shepherd. Geo to go in. They still don't know that Shepard's in here. Oh. Wait a minute, they do! They have control of Church, and on a prayer, TSM need two more, make that one. Joystick, he does joystick things. Is he gonna do it? Diffuser down. This is dire straits for the Russian team, knowing that the match could be over, or the map could be over, if Joystick doesn't pull out ahead. He has a single bit of HP, and Chala says, no you don't, TSM them steal Empire's map away and they take Clubhouse. Back up top, he takes some damage and now there's the Finca of Bolo still on this Scyther hunt, but they're on a different part of the map now. Down goes Achieved. Scyther with the kill and the MPX in hand. Bolo tossed out a nade to eat the last ADS. He'll go fishing inside of the bathroom. Could have flushed TSM's chances down the toilet if Bolo screws up. Well, there's a nice kill from Dan on the run out. He'll head from home. This leaves a 3v3 on the bomb site, by the way. That becomes a 2v3, but now always punished. Merc has control of Cocktail. Geo's got the diffuser in hand, but he gets taken out by Joystick. Blind spots from TSM. Unaware of where these Empire players are. Merc with four seconds left. On a wing and a prayer, as they would say. And the first round of map two goes to Empire. Because if you can hold down the angle successfully, it should be an easy play. Planned. Meanwhile, Dan the basement, here it goes. Geo, Alf pays, just starts planting. Bolo tosses it in and will cover from now on on. And I don't know if Geo's gonna make it through. Yes, he is with a hair and he gets away. First kill goes to Bolo. Merc finds one as well. Shepard, ratter, tat, tat, pitter, patter of the MPX. Good enough for one kill. Joystick is on pillars as well. TSM still have the advantage. It's Scyther with one HP to be finished off from Merc and Joystick to clutch. He's sitting on top of the diffuser, but he needs to be wary because guess who's up top on that top floor? It's the Sledge of Achieved. We talked about this in the preamble of the round. You need to hold that top floor if you're a Sledge. Achieved does it just like that. And this team, this game now tied up at one apiece. Shumika launcher and 11 Molotovs still remaining. Make that 10. There are Yokai's in play for Shepard too. So plenty of plans now, but oh, there goes Shepard. Where did he die from? And now it's always down for the count. Scyther in a 1v. Three. It's an adrenal surge that got popped by Bolo before he got finished off, and Scyther is in a hopeless position. Upstairs, Nitro Cell to potentially distract, but it, it, does oh, it does actually work to scare Geo off this plant. He was so close to getting it down. On white stairs, Scyther's re-entry to the bomb site will be from over inside a freezer. He can't out-duel Achieved. Second round in a row, Achieved gets the very final kill. TSM looking in mighty form through these last two rounds, and they've now got the lead on their map. Swing and get something for their money, that's going to be good, but otherwise, this wall will get open right up. Oh, and Dan doesn't hear it amidst the chaos and confusion, giving a 30-second window now for TSM to continue to push into the bomb site with the advantage they have. They lose it, though. Bolo taken down by Scyther and now always gets one with Geo 2. So Empire, they gave it. 
Nade goes out. Damage done to always, but the guns from Empire are hitting their marks. It's a desperate throw in by Achieved. He's been so good in two rounds. Can he do more? No, always says that's quite enough for that one. We're going to take a round of our own. There are three toxic babes in the pocket of Shepard. That's the key player. Dan is now off the board, but as long as Shepard's alive, they can deny the plant. Scyther will retake from Red Stairs. He's only got a tiny bit of HP. First toxic canister goes out. 30 seconds left for the next two, and another will be burned immediately. Empire trying to blanket the bomb site so that TSM have no way in to get that diffuser planted. It's Geo again. Shepard dodges around an explosion. They've got one inside a laundry shotgun out, and a pump could get another, but he misses. Turned on by Chala. Scyther from above, but still on a tiny bit of HP. Bomb site control now in favor of TSM. It's always to try and stop it, and he sees it. Damage done. He gets back to pillars. It's a reset for these teams. A bit of calmness will go over the bomb site, but Merc decides no. To hell with calm. I want violence. And he finds it. The little that was left of Scyther, gone. Always now with the diffuser. One third of the way gone. He'll wait. The rest of the team will give him intel, playing off of these two players of TSM, one of whom still sits in the bomb site, the other above. This top floor control for TSM is so critical. Always gives his position away. Diffuser still going down. An almost unwinnable situation, and all it takes is a couple bullets, but TSM don't want to give it to them. They get the oh. clock. They don't know where he is. Been played. Merc gets it like a damn fiddle. Or staying power to TSM. Merc is unaware that there's one behind Whiskey, oh. and Merc wins the fight. Shepard, a bit of a sloppy aim. Nade hits on to Dan, and TSM have blown their way into the bomb site. All it's going to take is Geo to get the diffuser down, but Joystick fires back on the Bolo. 20 seconds left. It's a 2v2 with Geo getting the diffuser down. There goes Joystick. Always finds one, pivots, and Chala, 500 IQ, gets that final pick for his team. 20 seconds left. That there is an impact, it seems to be gotten stuck, but now the flashbang and Greenwich comes out, that's the execute as well. They want to go deep because they cannot just plant. Kills does not go in favor of them though, because Bolo finds always that's an opening pick for TSM, and Bolo on that FMG does good damage. And he's still got the lineup as well. Shepard flashing in, going for a plant on the wall, but Bolo looks the wrong way. He gets stopped by a Nitro Cell. Bolo can't do it, then a Sheaved can. Scyther on a nice angle. All of a sudden, Empire finds two kills, looking for more. Scyther is the hero of the round right now. Joystick at the halfway mark. Geo dropping, can they stop him? There's Scyther down for the count. Achieved can almost get it, no. Joystick has one HP. Geo, you have to clutch, and you're gonna get it done. On the diffuser, a heartbreaking round for Team Empire. Five to two for TSM. He can get back behind the shield, but I don't know if he can be retrieved unless Shala decides, hey, I'll go on in. Nobody swings in his direction, down goes Merc, and the gunfire pushes him out of his position. Swinging for the fences is Achieved. That's kill number one for his team. There's two more inside a piano, but can he be giving his life away? Uh, drone spots him. He sees one. A nice shot from Joystick. Three kills from Joystick, in fact. And oh, Dan with a nice one as well. Chala in a 1v4. The timeout paying dividends as Empire backs up the timeout with a round win and prevents TSM from going to match point. And they need to get this smoke off of this spot, but they will walk now into Freezer and a drop. The moment that one of the moves, Joystick will be there to greet them at the bottom of White Stairs, but achieved with the shotgun out, prevails. This is all the while that Empire are almost in the bomb site inside a Freezer. An aid goes out. It does not connect. Chala quarterbacking from behind. TSM have seeded most of this bomb site. Oh, the but there goes the nade on to achieved. The yokai oh. can move into position. All they need to do is get it into the right spot. Shepard is almost completing it. Knocked away. Two seconds to go. Oh, and Geo in. can stop it. What a good bit of teamwork by TSM. They're on match point on map two. He does. He's all alone. But when you got the opening man advantage, you can risk playing those risky bodies because, well, you still got the 4v4, but achieved. For a nice C4 that's gonna punish Empire and achieve this swell from down below despite heading information. Empire cannot react, but then finds Bolo's head and now they want to aggress further up. But Scyther, well, what can he get? Oh, well, hold on a second here. We need a temperature check on this TSM team. Merc might be able to get oh. one, and there you go. What a performance from Merc! 14 damn kills and seven damn rounds. TSM take map number two. They're one map away from being SI champions.
Other than that, and Cypher's in on, on that freezer hatch, Shepard on the freezer stairs, and always on the laundry. This is gonna be a desperate attempt of an attack. We're gonna walk on through, take the gunfights, and see what we can do. Empire, 20 seconds. And there's Geo taking a lot of damage, Merc, as well. A couple bullets can swing this completely in their favor, but they're at risk of stalling out. There goes Bolo. TSM need to hang on. They might actually be in worse spot right now, and it gets better for Empire. They're now in a 2v3, still dwindling, but TSM waiting. A big kill from Shepard into the bomb site. He goes, but he swatted away, and it's simply a way for TSM to stay alive. Round one on defense of Oregon. Be watched by a bulletproof camera. This might necessitate a need, but oh, oh nice shot as Geo peeks and Scyther through the soft wall. Gives Team Empire that same advantage. Down goes Chala. And this pause apparently helping them an awful lot. Merc steps into action. Diffuser going down. Smokes from the attackers, but it's Merc now to get into the bomb site amidst the smoke. He has no idea. A single kill to his name, but it's impactless at the moment. Trapped inside of dorms. Diffuser by the window. You have to kill all three of the opponents. There's no way you're going to be able to get to that Diffuser in time. You also see from Empire, they've gone down below. So Merc will buy time. He's the IGL of the team. He can't really spend it talking with the rest of them, but he knows how impossible this is. A Herculean task, trying to carry an entire team. Just trying to fill time. Nice shot onto Always, but they're playing keep away. As he baits it out, and then we'll get promptly swung on the window. He knows exactly where they are. He gets stunned in the run out. A nice kill, but he's out of time. Valiant effort for Merc. Majorly impactless kills. And finally, Empire put him out of his misery. That's their way back into this momentum-wise. That's the opening. That's the snowball. It's small right now, but it grows in size. And Joystick inside of Kitchen finds another one. On to Bolo, who's roaming. Down goes Achieved. Empire putting on a clinic at the moment, showing why this is their map. An Adrenal Surge from Dan can come out and pick up Joystick, but it's Geo to finish it off and head back to White Stairs. Geo and White Stairs is not a mix that you want to be hearing all that regularly. He was on that EG team, and now he's on the TSM team, who just got crushed rushed on dorms two rounds in a row after round three. Empire take the lead. But it might actually stop Empire from going in as much as they want. Tons of nades sailing into the bomb site, and one does connect onto Geo, but that's about it. Team damage done to always. Joystick picking off Achieve, that's all that he's gonna get. Ooh. Bolo almost gets the spray transfer, and now it's Empire falling apart in the midst of the toxic canister. Shepard has to retreat. Diffuser's down as well. They need to pick it up. Look at always his HP. He can't really cover. If there's a single bit of damage done to him, he's as good as dead. Both players from Empire will walk in the same direction. TSM showing great restraint. Always gives himself away. They want to bait out any nitro cells or toxic canisters. There's none to be found. Only bullets. And the bullets from TSM, they're good. Mark with the final two kills. And these teams far more even on Oregon through four rounds. Ineffective on the roam so far. He he hasn't even been able to hold map control because Dan is just this machine that continues to chew up land and push forward. Picks up a second kill. And all of TSM are gone. Dan picks up three. But look at Merc. Oh, not again. They don't know he's here. Merc fires a little bit too early. He's not going to get anything for it, but now they know where he is. Merc, you didn't believe in the shotgun enough. It's the nade to now sail in. Merc flushed out. Chala in a 1v5, and he has to get out of the bomb site. He won't do that, by the way. It's a 4K from Dan, and a flawless round gives Empire the lead. Sounds like the fire will spread from the Goyo behind it, and yes, indeed. Oh, no. Chala worried about the play at the top of the stairs, but Bolo on the flank. Chala thought the Bolo would be there faster. You lose access to your smoke because of that, and again, it's another mistake from TSM that is capitalized upon by Empire. It is, and they don't have any tools now, but now Empire going deep on Ascendant. They cannot plant that. Nate opens up the round Cypher inside of Kid Storms. I just can't believe this. They've just barreled on in. The Brazen missed a double kill from Dan, but it's achieved to slow it down. Dan is on one HP. Ten kills, but one HP. Scyther is the one that you have to worry about. And there he is, say the man's name. What do they say? Speak of the devil and the devil shall appear. He might not either. There's the first one to go down. It's Scyther, TSM get their opening pick. 40 seconds left. Nobody moving a muscle through the hallway, but there's a possible play as it's Bolo and Achieve to break in. 30 seconds to go. They've got the smoke in the hallway. Shepard caught in the crossfire, always in a 1v4. And that's it. There's nobody down from TSM. They've got control of the bomb site. 
It's always isolated over by Elbow, and Bolo doesn't let him get a single thing. No re-entry to the bomb site. It's denied. TSM pick up their very first round, and we are looking at the moment at an attacker side at order. They walk away fabulously, still alive. TSM in bad shape. There's one onto the magnet. Chala, the very first kill, gets swung on, but the kill feed is both a mix of blue and orange. Both teams sitting in a 3v3. Pillars control, not quite there. Bolo taking damage, now it's Geo, but he gets traded out with Bolo falling to Scyther, elbow being watched. The attack from TSM will come from the back of the bomb site. Dan is inside a freezer. He's gonna be the kingmaker for this round. If TSM prevail, they tie things up. Breaking the Aruni gate, but Geo still takes some damage. There's a bulletproof in there, nice shot from Dan. Leaves achieved in a 1v2, but Empire know this. They'll play keep away, achieve tries as he best. He won't even find one of the two and Empire go back to a two round lead. Any sort of explosive can do that, you know, above a reinforcement, below a reinforcement. That's a very cheeky trick you can do. Mm. Cypher finds Merc, he's off the board now on this Ayana. Six and six to his name and Dan finds another as well, keeping up Empire's momentum. This has to be a timeout for TSM if they don't win this round. Maybe even if they do, because things are not going well. Achieved. But oh, excuse me, where is achieved to get this 3K and suddenly TSM have a big lead. It forces always to get back to the bomb site. Scyther's the only one to hold it down for now, but always has been droned out. This is even better intel. Always spotted. It's a quad from Achieved. Nade goes in. He'll vault on in, but Geo steals the ace. It doesn't matter who gets the last kill because TSM gets the round. They actually can sit tight inside of showers because they cannot breach the wall. I like this angle from always, from above, watching the hatch. Oh, Merc going in. Moment, but Merc is in. He sees an opportunity. Snaps onto the head of Shepard, removes it from his body. Dan is next. Merc has all their attention. The rest of TSM have to follow up. A third from Merc. What are these individual heroics that we're seeing? Diffuser goes down, joystick boxed out, and always is the only player to stop a tie game. TSM, they see the opening. They take the opening. And always now in a position above where the diffuser will continue to tick away. I said that if TSM don't win that round, they might need to take a timeout. They proved me wrong. Now, all of a sudden, we're gonna go into round number 11 with this thing tied up because it's all on Achieve to take out the last player. You need to be a little bit wary, Joystick. You just took a lot of damage on that peak. The smoke will keep the attackers at bay for now, but Joystick can't see through it to get the site that he wants. Down goes Merc, that's on Scyther. Empire get one back. TSM might not want to be in the position that they're in. The Aruni gate is primed and ready in front of Geo. He can get activated again, but he's just sitting, waiting patiently. Diffuser will be escorted into the bomb site with Geo. Down goes Bolo. They know he's around the corner. A nice pre-fire. Chala is in, and he continues his surge forward. He gets two big kills. Diffuser needs to be planted, but they're just holding right now. Empire are holding passive, as you said. There's a big double play by Shepard, and they get it. They were holding until they weren't. And it's now Empire on map point. Above him, tries to take the angle, gets shut out a little bit, but this nade can just do a ton of damage. But no, Shepard finds the handsome out throughout the floor, floorboards. Really well played by Empire, keeping themselves in a position where Achieved cannot do maximum damage from down below. This is the tense moment, but look at Bolo's in this same spot, and they know he has to come up white stairs. An angle being held, Bolo fakes it out. Nade back in hand. Where are you going, Bolo? Hit the adrenal surge first, get the mark, but now you're going to be fighting shadows because he's as good as gone. Up the hatch, Bolo on the ground. There's a pick on the Shepard. TSM will need to run into the bomb site. Bolo doesn't see the player down below. Always with a nitro cell. This will be a desperate attempt, but it's TSM to box them out. If always can't do this, then it's overtime on the menu and it's a post plan, making things even harder for always. Still down in security. But there's lots of avenues that the attackers can see him on. He sees one down below, that's a pick on the Merc, two more to be found. Always losing most of his HP in the process. Up white stairs, through this doorway, one of the most treacherous retakes on any site, on any map, and it's TSM with two players at full HP. They don't lose a single point of it. Overtime again on Empire's map. You're gonna need somebody from Empire to swing onto this because always will be as good as gone. And there you go. You don't win those gunfights. Achieved is leveled up on this map to a point where he is so good. Now it's Shepard to go as well. But look at that. Empire claiming the kill feed. They have something going for them. Diffuser is down as well. And it's a kill for Scyther to hunt on it. He'll be able to get Shepard oh, back. 
back up. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, nice play Scyther. by Scyther. And he might have just saved the round. Achieved is in a desperate position by Pillar. Things looked so good for TSM, but they've gone from bad to worse. And Empire with 10 seconds left just need to fall off. Play keep away. They know that Achieve doesn't have the diffuser, and they know that Achieve doesn't have a hope in hell of winning this round. Empire back on match point. Toss, second one comes out. That's going to be the execute. And they'll go for the drop, but there's a nitro cell. Merc needs to ensure that it lands. Pulls it a little bit too soon. Polo now down. Is he retrievable? The answer is yes. One player from Empire inside a freezer. Empire's execute coming from laundry, but they're pummeling them. Always with two big kills. Still in freezer. 20 seconds to go. Diffuser in Shepard's hands. He'll be escorting it in through the main laundry doorway. Merc, you've got to win those. You cannot let that happen. Scyther walks away with one HP. Good coverage. That's Diffuser. Almost down. Geo in a 1v3, but Empire, they want to send this to map number four. They just need a tiny bit of Geo's HP, and they're going to get it. Empire not letting TSM sweep. You put those brooms away, ladies and gentlemen, because we're going to need a fourth map. We see a Chiefs and Child now rotating to that red stairs and trophy side to get that flank, get the pins, hammer and anvil. Both sides being pressured from TSM are going to make their odds even better for them. Dan loves this flank, and he'll chew up some of the oh. heels. A Merc, a nice shot. And just like that, it's a 2v2. Oh. Dan missed out on by Achieved, but he's been downed and now finished off. Joystick will be the last one left. He knows that there's a player over by 90. Air jabs are there. Joystick creeping up on it, but he's not going to be quick enough. There's some spam marks in both spam marks. Joystick knows this can play off this. Who's on flank watch? That's the real question. Diffuser needs to be retrieved. Can Joystick pull this off? The Diffuser is so far down. TSM, what are you doing? Joystick is going to make you a laughing stock in this round. All he needs to do he's is running. live, and he oh. gets the kill anyway. TSM in one of the worst rounds I've seen at a level like this, just pulling their brains out of their skull, and Empire capitalized. Open this wall, then start walking statue and execute the plan. That's where they're joining right now with that Gemini clone from Ayana, and that's where they look to set their aggression. They just need to send somebody over to this connector area. That's all it is, but never mind. Merc can kill you long range. Scyther tip taps away, Diffuser going down from Chala. There's nothing they can do to stop it. No Nitro Cell from Scyther. They get some spam marks, but that's all she wrote for now. Scyther in a 1v3, desperation will start to consume him. Loses out on a potential kill into Master. Hard angle being held. Ever closing in on that diffuser is Scyther, but Achieved is there. Simply too many bodies, and they don't want to repeat the same mistakes of the previous round. A much more clean and technical finish to that round in what should be a 2-0. Information, TSM and Geo work in that laundry side. The jammer has been cleared, so they can breach the wall soon. There are still Hibana pillars to go, but TSM making sure they take every single second available to ensure the round goes there's a really cheeky drone in over by the music box that likely sees the feet of Dan. So that's intel from TSM that one player from them is in there. I think Dan just spotted the drone, but not before it's given a ton of information out. 15 seconds and now Merc wants to walk in. Achieved picks off Dan. Couldn't possibly get more kills from Merc as he watches, but he misses out. There's a nice kill from Achieved too. Scyther back to the bomb site. He takes out the Nomad, but you got to hurry in a post plant. Scyther beautifully done and he's in hot pursuit they know he's there impacts going out it's a 1v2 and he quads oh. it so badly he gets it but now back into the bomb site scyther with four kills watched from above and it's a dizzying confrontation between him and achieved all achieved needs to do is back away fall back wait for him to get onto the diffuser you've got the kill line and you've got the kill we'll need to retake and they will go through that classical hallway they're very wary of a potential flank and that's where their attention is now it's achieved on over to study dropping a nade down can't find anything can't find anybody but it's Merc to find one on his own shepherd the lone kill for empire again a 4v2 for tsm diffuser in the hands of chala he's in a very common spot the common spot and shepherd is back by bar, but where are they gonna go? Chala's gonna be able to get this down. Will it happen Air again? Air jab goes off. Joystick spotted. Shepard a second kill. Joystick down for the count. Shepard will need to clutch. In a post plan, the two players from TSM standing pat, not moving a muscle. 
They don't need to give up anything. Joystick might be trying to crawl to freedom or he might just be bleeding out, but he at this point is unrecoverable. So Shepard will push up to the bomb, but it's Chala and Achieve to get those final two kills. TSM fixed those mistakes and they're up three words. That it does, but that's not gonna stay for long because Cypher finds Chala, even though he's low on health, he is still alive. That means the four versus two, but Achieve down below. Achieve has those grenades in his pocket. But he's gonna rely on Geo to do an awful lot. Oh, 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 oh. Goodbye. Scyther gets oh blown boy. up from below. That's another depth charge. Achieved with the nade in pocket. Putting in the work that needs to be done. He's going to wait for the Thunderbird to go up as well. Need I remind you that the Surya Gates have a brief second where they are still active. So if you flash them and then run in, that's a problem. Yep, you still take damage. 30, in fact, damage on the clock or on the health bar, rather. Destroy those with a drone, with utility, etc. Geometrics. I don't think he's with the situation. He has no idea. Though. Oh, and the gate gets activated as well. That's your second last flash. Oh. The timing for the weapon swap. Caught with his pants down. Another grenade in hand for Achieve. Common spots, but he's being watched by a default cam. That means his only way up to the bomb site comes from an area where it's very easy to punish. On Astro stairs, Team Empire look for their second round, and they will almost certainly get it. All they need to do is shoot Achieved once. Joystick says, gladly, I'll do just that. It's two rounds for Empire, three for TSM. Dan gets out of there beautifully, and a smoke goes too. Great timing, and a pick from Always, his first tier, taking down a high-value target. On to Merc. TSM in serious trouble. They've lost Bolo, now they lose Chala. This is a full court press from Empire on an Aviator defense, and it's TSM now in a 2v5. Empire really had a good response there, finding multiple picks off Dan on the main stairs, who still is full on health. And now, well, Saiva gets picked off from down below as Achieve is swing down, but Gio has found himself injured in the process. That makes it a one versus four. Achieve finds another onto Dan. Main stairs not secure just yet. There's a second play. That's that clown car factor that you spoke about, Pogger. They keep showing up at the main stairs, and Gio suspicion achieved back down below is geo gonna walk in and die we have so many questions about this round they'll be answered very shortly joystick sees sledge there he goes at such close range the roni is as deadly as ever achieved taking down the smoke but there's still two more bodies to be found and again empire will likely just exhibit that same patience play back play keep away do not allow him in or just watch for his legs and always we'll pick up two kills in that round and very easily even this out. Oh, stairs and they Chala. Turn down Chala. I I don't think they've droned him out. If they haven't, he can swing. Down goes Bolo, and Chala pops oh. up, but he no, he pulls trigger a little bit too early, immediately smoking. There's two more hounds trying to hunt him down, but Chala prevails, at least in one gunfight, but not more than that. Shepard is the one to claim Chala. That's Astro Control now in favor of Empire. 3v3. A bit of a brief pause, but still 15 seconds left, meaning that Empire will have to break into the bomb site. Achieve does not get caught. He gets out of there in time. Bolo looks the wrong way. Gun down. Scyther, the next one in line of sight. Shepard with Diffuser in his hands, almost planted. Oh. Nice shot from Scyther, and Geo needs to save it. He gets two big kills, but he's in a post plant. Does he have intel? He sees the shoulder, but he loses the fight to Shepard. Empire, they know where you are, and they just had such an advantage. And like that, Empire, grab their lead. Site. But if you are TSM, you just hold on for the ride. Bolo might not be particularly effective in this map, at least not to this point, but he has a very strong position, and it gets even stronger. It could be for more, but it's Geo to swing, collecting kill one and five. That's a nice bookend on the round. TSM have tied the game. Your anchors can really keep you moored because at the moment, Empire are looking to just flush into the bomb site and just flush you out. 30 seconds to go, and down goes Merc. Could it be a flawless round for Empire? They've already got a couple of those so far. Achieved on the flank? We'll say no, that's not it. One big kill. Diffuser's in the hands of Shepard. Scyther is still down as well. Achieved has been the best player in the server, but he can't out-duel Shepard. Chala will need to clutch out. And this is where it gets impossible with a nade landing in your lap. It's gonna go back and forth, I feel it. If you want unlimited overtime, this has gotta be it, does it not? Wanting to take up space and push into the bomb site. Still has three candelas remaining, but doesn't know where to go. 30 seconds left, means you gotta throw them out, but no, Bolo says you can't do that. We talked about both of them in this proverbial head-to-head -head in stats, but now Bolo engages in a gunfight that is a little bit puzzling. It allows Empire to win it before they also lose Shepard. That's Diffuser down. So Empire, in order to stay in this round, they need to engage in fisticuffs. Blow to blow. Keep in lockstep with TSM. A pick or two is all you need, but they're not even gonna find one. Both of the two former, or both of the two remaining players get taken out 
formerly alive, now deceased. And the round goes to TSM again. Expended. Empire have that advantage. They've also done some damage to Geo earlier on. This Finca of Dan seemingly quite strong. And now the smokes will go off, but the toxic canisters instead. 20 seconds remain. That's what Empire has to work with to get into the bomb site. Again, they're the ones who have to do it. There's an upside down repel. Merc doesn't know this, always should be able to get an easy pick. And the diffuser from Scyther going down leaves Chala to try and clutch. He won't be able to do it. Toxic babe to his name. Chala has to hold on and hold strong. It's going to be a very hard task. And the last toxic babe goes out over towards that classical hallway. Bolo will be in a gunfight of his own against Shepard. The Hibana popping up, but Bolo looks the wrong way. This could be an easy pick for him. Flashes go in, but they sail over his head. He's immune to all of them. Read so well by Bolo, and he's got two Bolo. of them with the diffuser down a third, but no, Dan walks away from that. Chala picks up two big kills. It's all up to Chala, but Dan can't get it. We're going to overtime again. Oh my God, these teams. I hope that you don't have have anything in your hands because I'm throwing them up in the air if it's up to me. And Joystick just holding this angle down, making sure that if anybody creeps out from TSM, he can shut them down. Always rotating for the flank as well and poor window. Empire, this is it. 20 seconds, no utility left. Has to just go on that trigger right now. They're just gonna run right in and Achieve just on the flank. He gets Dan, that's the running man. More for him as well, watching this opening. A jiggle peak. Down goes Shepard. Bolo, the only one down. But all of a sudden, Empire's guns are hitting their marks. There goes Merc. Geo will need to clutch in a 1v3. All he has to do is stop Joystick. Two seconds left. There's multiple people looking, oh. but always has the insurance policy. And it's Empire on match. Get out of there with their lives still intact. But this is where things get tricky. If the hard breach works on the wall, you lose a very critical artery inside of the bomb site. For now, though, Empire seem to be ready to greet them. TSM's guns are finding their shots. Down goes Scyther. Shepard behind the bar, he will be critical at stopping this. But he's watching his numbers dwindle around him. Out goes one of those toxic canisters. TSM will double up on him, but a nice play by both Always and Shepard leaves Shepard in a 1v3, but Chala's the hero of that round. We're gonna go more than just one or two rounds in overtime here. Unlimited overtime showing up strong. Drone escort going in too, but he doesn't see it. He's on the ground now and might be able to get the Goyo doing some damage. Achieved though, wins the fight. Remarkable stuff. 16 kills to his name. And now they don't need to worry about Bolo's position as much unless Empire take control of study. Still, it's a 4v4. Empire have plenty of time to work with, oh, they but they him. have to tackle these shields. Bolo in his position will creep up. There's still an upside down repel. Scyther has Four. an abuser. It's a double kill from Achieved. What are we witnessing? All is upside down and he's gonna bait it out because nothing will happen. TSM moved to championship point. That'll be that. And if not, we just keep on going. I mean, it's, the, it's, I mean it's their map and they just they got Dan it. off the board. How has this happened already? TSM have found themselves with two minutes and 40 seconds to go in a 5v4, Nick. Now we gotta compose ourselves, right? Deep breaths. We cannot I, I don't think we need to be the ones to take a deep breath. I'm gonna take one, and I hope that these teams take one with me, because this can be defined very quickly. If you're TSM, you don't want to overextend off the adrenaline that you're feeling. Once you get one kill, it can be so easy to keep on going in and then throw your life away. And if you're Team Empire, this pressure, this stress, it's building upon your shoulders. It's gonna be so heavy to weight, lift this weight off your shoulders. If there's anybody who's been here and knows what that feels like, it's you. And you know what, as much as that pressure's heavy, you know what's even heavier? Oh. The hammer. <laughs> so you wanna hoist that, that's what you wanna lift up. Down goes always, Another TSM one. are in such good shape. Scyther a desperation Another swing, one. and suddenly it's a 5v2. TSM are in full control of this series, and they've only got two more bodies to find. The smoke of Shepard is down below. Joystick, where does he sit? That's the question. Watching for a repel, potentially for one on the roof. He could engage, but he gets smoked by Achieved. It's a 5v1. If there's ever been the time for a flawless round, it's now. Everything on the line for TSM. What a year it's been from them. And it's all now, Shepard, to try and stop it. 
Empire have come so close before, but they've fallen short and they'll do so again. TSM said, trust the process. The process just won you a world championship. TSM are your sixth invitational 2022 world champion.